Hey everyone, it's Motec Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alienware AW2721D. This gaming monitor has gained an awesome reputation, with some world-class players like Shroud having this as their main display, so it's definitely got some clout to it. But when we take a look at the specs and pricing, that doesn't come as a shock. So as a basic overview of specs, you get a QHD resolution, an IPS panel that is capable of 240Hz, as well as 1 millisecond response time. And in terms of pricing, this is going to come in at $1,100 MSRP, but it does go on sale quite frequently, so you can snatch it for around $700, which is exactly what I did. So I'm going to drop down an Amazon link down below in the description, so you can check it out after this review. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's talk about the design and build quality. Alienware does a phenomenal job with their monitors, and there's no difference here. The design of the AW2721D is stunning. It has ultra-thin bezels that have no logos or branding anywhere, which is going to give you a really clean and minimalistic look, while making this one of the best options on the market for a double or triple monitor setup. Now looking at the back of the monitor, you can see that legendary Alienware design language with this awesome two-tone black and white colorway and tons of RGB lighting. You'll find some branding here, like this RGB lit Alienware head logo in the top right corner, as well as its letter print across the stand arm. The OSD can be controlled from this joystick in the back, and you also get four buttons which you can map to setting shortcuts within the OSD menu. Now in terms of RGB lighting, this monitor has a total of four RGB zones across the monitor. The first is going to be that Alienware logo in the back. The second is going to be that big zone right in the middle of the back section. There's also a zone at the bottom of the monitor that shines nicely on the desk here, and you can turn that on and off by simply touching it. And the last zone is going to be the power button itself at the bottom right corner. Now these zones can be easily controlled from the OSD menu under the Alienware FX lighting. You can enable and disable the lighting, as well as change the lighting color and brightness to suit your mood and setup. The I.O. selection is quite nice here, with one DisplayPort 1.4, which is going to go up to the full 240Hz refresh rate, two HDMI 2.0 ports that will go up to 104Hz refresh rate, and you also get two USB ports in the back that you can connect directly to your PC with the USB upstream port, as well as two USB ports at the front here to charge your devices, as well as one headphone jack. Now this monitor is built like an absolute tank. It weighs a little over 13 pounds, and all the plastics and materials used here are really high in quality and feel really nice to the touch. The stand that comes in the box is massive. It takes a lot of space on the desk, but it does keep the monitor really stable and wobble free. It has some nice ergonomics to it too. It can go up and down, you can go side to side, and you can also put it in a vertical position for those programming setups. The cable management slot is spacious and the cables are routed neatly through these plastic tabs. And finally, you can slide on that IO shield that they include in the box to hide everything and keep it really nice and tidy. Now monitor stands that do come in the box tend to be large and this one is definitely no different. So after this review, I'm gonna be throwing this monitor onto my monitor arm. Doing this creates a lot of space under the monitor and adds a more minimal look to my setup. The arm I use here is the Dell MSA20, which snaps on with the quick release for easy install. But the monitor is also compatible with all other VESA 100 monitor arms through the four screws on the back of the monitor. All right, now let's get into the specs and features on this monitor. So the AW2721D comes with a premium 1440p LG IPS panel. Now 1440p is gonna be the sweet spot for gaming because it gives you access to crisp and sharp images without taxing your system as much as 4K does. And because it's an IPS panel, you're gonna get vibrant and rich colors with absolutely excellent viewing angles, which means that no matter where you look at it from, it's gonna retain its full clarity and color. Speaking of color, the color accuracy on this monitor really excels. It has a massive coverage of 98% DCI-P3 as well as 85% coverage of the Adobe RGB space. This makes it extremely color accurate and perfect for professional photo or video editors, as well as gamers. Now we also get 240 Hertz refresh rate, which is gonna be perfect for casual games where you're pushing just about 150 frames per second, but also really silky smooth for competitive esports titles like Valorant, Counter-Strike, or League of Legends, where you can especially push those frames and get to that 240 Hertz maximum refresh rate on this monitor. Now the panel itself is capable of true one millisecond response time and it has an impressively low input delay, which makes it extremely fast and responsive and it eliminates any tearing in gameplay. Now the response time can be changed from the OSD where you're gonna have three settings. The first is gonna be fast for four milliseconds. The second is gonna be super fast for two milliseconds. 
and the third is going to be extreme for one millisecond. I usually recommend keeping it at two milliseconds or super fast in this case for an ideal gameplay experience and the least amount of any graphical fragmentation or tearing. So this monitor has G-Sync Ultimate, which is the highest level of G-Sync that NVIDIA offer. So if you do have an NVIDIA card, make sure you have this turned on because it's gonna give you a really nice tear-free and smooth gaming experience, especially if you have older hardware and your PC can't push out all the frames that the monitor is displaying. And that way it only syncs a frame when it's ready to display. And so you don't get any ghosting or any fragmentation whatsoever. Now, if you do have an AMD graphics card, this is only G-Sync exclusive, so you won't have free sync here and you won't be able to make use of this feature. Now, in terms of HDR performance, this monitor is VESA HDR600 certified, so it's not HDR1000, so it's not gonna have like a thousand local dimming points or anything like that, but HDR600 is still capable of giving you an above average experience in terms of HDR consumption. And this HDR here is called Smart HDR, so it automatically comes on if it detects HDR content on your PC, Otherwise, it's always going to remain off. For productivity and creative use, the AW2721D is fantastic. Text and images are really sharp on the screen, and the panel itself is really easy on the eye, especially in the eye comfort mode. And in terms of color accuracy, it has excellent coverage of both the sRGB and Adobe RGB color spaces. So this makes it a fantastic screen for video editors and photo editors. So this is going to be perfect for professionals and people who want to use it for work and play. All right, now let's talk about the most important category, which is gonna be gaming performance. So I'm going to cut straight to the point here. This is the best gaming monitor I have ever tried. And I tested it here with four different games, all maxed out on my RTX 3070, with the response time set to two millisecond on the monitor. The first game I played was Warzone. I was pushing around 130 FPS here, and the new Pacific map looks absolutely amazing on this monitor. The colors here are really vibrant, and the gameplay was very smooth. I'm able to clearly spot targets and I didn't notice any lag or flickering. The second game I played is Halo Campaign and also at around 130 FPS, the scenery looked awesome. The gameplay was really smooth and the panel is really immersive, making things like my weapons almost feel like they're in 3D or coming out of the screen at me, which is a really, really special feeling here. The third game I tested was Forza Horizon 5. This is a game that is very rich in color and perfectly shows what this monitor is capable of. Graphics here were smooth and really immersive. Finally, I played League of Legends and I was able to push all 240 frames per second here, which is incredibly smooth. The monitor had no issues with flickering at its full frames capacity and the game also looked really beautiful here with very vibrant colors popping out of the screen. So overall, I think that this monitor is a dream monitor for both gamers and content creators. If you need one monitor that can do it all and do it well, then this is definitely the one. And I think that's what sets it apart. It's given me the best gaming experience I've had, and it's been real joy to edit my videos and photos on. So if you see this on discount and you're on the fence about getting it, then I would say this is definitely worth it. And that was all for our review of the AW2721D. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And I do tons of reviews on this channel for peripherals, mice, keyboards, monitors, and even PCs. So if you're interested in all of that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell notifications on to keep up with the video uploads. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time.